Hello there, this is Bhanu from Stuffulet blog and I am here today to discuss about how to count the number of surfaces for a given solid that usually appears in seed, seed as well as NID exam. I have done this post written form in my blog earlier but it seems like people are not able to get the idea and concept and, uh, are, and are doing some mistakes so that's why I thought I will make some uh, video in this. So I hope you will understand uh, with this video. So basically what you have to do is uh, given any solid like this so first of all consider some particular views like say front right back and uh, left top and bottom okay so these are the six standard views that uh, that's that is applicable for any this kind of video uh, sorry solid so and now that we have set the directions so consider we are moving in the front we are um, we are looking into the number of surfaces in the front direction so if you look through this side so notice that uh, uh, you will not uh, the some surfaces will not be visible like this surface which is um, you know horizontal will not be visible from the front so same goes with this surface and this surface and uh, this surface this surface including this land surface will also be will also not be visible in the front because they are actually perpendicular or parallel to that so the only thing that are visible is let me highlight here so this plane surface which is which i am highlighting here uh, will be visible directly in front in the in the front front okay so something like this so uh, yeah note that this is a single surface or not a, any you know um, partition no partition you can see no edge here no you know something like this this is called edge or corner so uh, nothing like this here so this whole surface should be counted as one and um, yeah one after this one surface uh, you can actually um, identify others also like this one here the triangular shapes one and the similar kind of triangle on the either side this side quite behind this um, hidden by this um, you know, surface so as of now we got one two three surfaces and, and, and apart from that uh, you can see one surface from this here in the bottom so which is visible here let me highlight so in the front you can see one two three and four fine okay now that we have done that in the front direction so we'll move to the next direction so let's say i will view from right direction so from right direction which surfaces the the straight front one here the one highlighted here okay and the other one is this one like here this surface and again this is a continuous surface because the you know even though uh, there is some partition here but this whole surface represent one single surface just like this one let me draw here for your understanding so this is how sorry for you me my poor uh, drawing skills here ah okay so this surface will assume like this in the side view so and this is a whole surface or not any uh, you know disturbed surface so this is one surface and this is the second surface and third one is this one this land surface okay and the fourth one i can see is this one and yeah fifth this surface slant got it so in the right view i can see one two three four and five okay uh, now i am done with the right view so uh, as you can see this uh, you know solid is a symmetrical one like symmetry in the sense like if you cut either this direction or this directions so it will assume like a mirror image on both sides so uh, the number of surface in the front is same as the number of surface in the back or behind or the same thing will happen number of surfaces on the right is same as the number of surfaces on the uh, left directions because uh, the same structure like this same solid phenomena will appear on the other side or uh, this side also got it so front is four um, right side is how much i don't know i forgot okay whatever it is 
so let's see the top direction how many views so from top as you can see uh, this surface is visible this surface is visible so now you note that uh, these two surfaces although are on the same plane but these are separated by this wedge this uh, shape so this should these two shouldn't be considered as a single surface got it so this is one surface and this is the second surface okay and uh, this will also be visible in the top but the thing is we have already counted that in the right directions so you should not count that again so remove that okay only these two and uh, this top surface which is directly visible from the top okay and uh, similarly this top surface the projection here this uh, lower part which is also visible from the top okay and uh, similarly like this this one so there will be two more surfaces on the other side and uh, like i said even this slant surface shouldn't be counted because you have already counted that in this uh, right direction okay so you should not take uh, make sure that you uh, you are not counting any surface uh, and doubles and twice or thrice like that because some surface will especially the slant surfaces will appear in uh, uh, either two or three um, directions like in top or right or top or left something like that so you make sure that you are not counting extra the like uh, uh, several times of the same structures so now i hope you understood how you can solve this surface so and um, uh, let me add one more example so that you can understand uh, more deeply on this subject just a minute mm, yeah okay Okay, here it goes. Sorry for the additional. Fine. So consider this example. So similar to the previous one. So let's identify the views. So usually I consider this as front. Okay. Uh, but here it's shown this front here so let's take that as front so this is front okay this is right and this is back side okay and uh, this is left top and bottom got it so six directions all together fine uh, yep okay in the front direction let me see how many surfaces are visible in front so so like i did earlier so this surface counts to one and this surface counts to two okay so as you can see these two are on the same plane so if there is uh, there uh, there is no hole here then it will be considered as the same same surface but since there is a gap there is a edge here so you should not be counting them as the same surface got it so this will be countable to two surface okay fine and apart from that so this is also one surface which is straight away visible from the front as you can see the whole surface here okay so overall you have uh, one two three surfaces and uh, this one yeah coming to this one so this part this uh, what do you call this semi circle half circle as well as this um, first so now the thing is like uh, you have to consider the whole surface of this as one surface because see uh, there is no edge or no gap like this and this surface is continuous so uh, this will be considered as a one surface okay similarly uh, the circle here you are seeing right the cylindrical hole here okay this should also be considered as a one surface because the it's a whole thing not a you know separate not separated by edge also so this is one surface this is one surface and similarly this is also one complete surface 
and uh, this is not visible in the uh, this one is not visible in the front so forget about it okay and uh, this surface uh, is not also visible from front because uh, if you see it's not uh, it's straight it's like uh, perpendicular to your eye so overall from the front so one two and uh, three four five and six fine okay so now that we are done with front surface so let's move on to you know right surface okay so from uh, or left let's say from left so this is here actually so from left what what you can see so this one i can see okay and uh, from left if you observe you can see this part also this uh, cylindrical hole from that but the thing is, uh, this surface is already, uh, you know, we have already counted that from the front. So you should not count that. So remove that. So similarly, this part will also be, should, uh, can also be considered from this side, but it, it's already counted from the front. So you remove this one. So, so it means that in the left side, you have only one surface visible. Okay. And uh, this surface is also visible. Okay. Let me count this also or okay let me erase this we will consider that in top view so left is one so since this uh, view is symmet uh, symmetry so right side will also have one surface okay now we will move to the top surface top uh, direction direction to the top so if you do that so how many surfaces you are able to count so let me say so this surface will be visible this surface whole surface so remember this whole surface is together one because uh, it's a continuous thing and there is no if there is break here then we could have considered as two but uh, there is continuation here so this is one whole surface and then apart from that so this surface that we left earlier should be considered as second surface and again uh, this is a continuous one like this you know this band here is it's going continuous so this is the second surface uh, from the top direction got it so on, yeah only two surfaces yeah this one is also visible from the top this circular cylindrical surface so top will have three surfaces overall and uh, if you go to bottom let me erase this yeah and if you view from bottom so this bottom part surface will all be come to one and um, what else nothing I think uh, mm -hmm. only this might be visible but this is already counted so we don't have to count again in order to avoid confusion repetition so remove that so only one surface in the bottom so that's how we count the number of surfaces for any given solid like uh, uh, why I want I wanted to make this portion is like uh, you are able to find the surfaces visible but the thing is uh, maybe you are uh, doing the mistake of counting the same thing repetitively like uh, several times in the several views like i said now this uh, this say consider this surface is visible from left side as well as from the top side so uh, you might do the mistake of counting uh, counting them twice so make sure that you don't do that and as well as this uh, surface something like this surface yeah something like this surface this is totally considered should be considered as one instead of uh, two or three like that because it's a continuous one there is no break in that so i hope you got how to do that so and if you have any more doubts and if you want some more examples uh, on um, uh, as a practice for your section do comment in the top bottom so that i can share with you so all the very best for your exam see you soon signing off banu bye